We start with the cost of almost everything is going up this evening. A closer look at the two places where you're really feeling it. The gas pumps and at the grocery store. KPI X5's Kit Doe explains how high grocery prices are impacting those just trying to make a living. Kit? We are here at Ortega's. They are an independent grocery chain in the Bay Area, and this is their Newark location. We're here to get a sense of just how bad inflation has gotten for food. Thank you for hosting us. And also to see them give Congressman Ro Khanna an earful. Artegas has the numbers, and yes, it is as bad as you think. Since 2019, a gallon of milk has gone up 62% to well over $5 a gallon. Eggs are up 94%, now closing in on $4 for a dozen. And a can of hominy has shot up 226%, going from $2 to nearly $5 per can. There has to be some kind of a control. Um, Everything's just going rapid. Congressman Ro Khanna held a roundtable today to hear more about the struggles of small businesses. Lupe Lopez, Ortega's co-owner, took aim at vendors, wholesalers, and shipping companies questioning their price hikes. Or are they using COVID as a, an excuse to, to increment even higher prices? Can some of those costs be eliminated? Are they real costs? Lupe is absolutely right. I mean, the price gouging uh, has been... Uh, Terrible. Congressman Khanna said the government needs to act swiftly and should look into using antitrust laws to bring prices under control. They shouldn't be profiting of inflationary conditions, and that is something that the government, federal government, can do in tackling uh, the market concentration and looking at the appropriate antitrust action. Khanna also said he supports the federal government getting into the food business to put downward pressure on prices. The federal government can decide to buy food both locally in America and around the world at a low price and sell it at a low price and they have a lot of purchasing power and that could bring down the, the price of food. Back in 2020, the city of Newark joined several other Bay Area cities in passing a law that capped delivery fees for third-party apps like DoorDash and Instacart at 15 percent of the total bill. Ortega said the various delivery apps charge more for certain stores or restaurants and oftentimes charge less for major chains. And do you support a uh, nationwide cap on uh, delivery fees from these uh, third-party apps? I would, yeah. I think that there should we should, especially right now, look at uh, a nationwide cap on those kind of fees that are being charged, if, and it should be fair. President Biden is set to deliver remarks tomorrow about inflation. Congressman Khanna said he would urge the president to take bold action. In Newark, Kitto, KPIX 5.